Okay, so after you've done all of your inking and you've cleaned up all your overlapping lines using the eraser tool, that's when you can go ahead and start doing adding color. And I like to do that with live paint. Um, so as you can look over on my side here, I have layer one, which is technically uh, the anchor of my cat, the outline. And then here's my inking layer. And again, I can double click on layer two and title it inking. I went ahead and made a color guide layer, um, and that is going to be my color palette. So I figured out my color palette that I'm going to use. I have five colors over here, um, and then I need to make a color group of these. So under your swatches window, you can go to window swatches. I'm going to create a new group. So you can see here there's this folder and then these five colors to the right of it. That's going to be my color group for live paint. So to make a new color group, you click on this folder down here that says new color group. Um, and then it'll let you create a new group. I already have one in there. So you can title it however you want. When you move the color over, what you do is you have to select it with the black arrow. And then it should illuminate down here in your fill box. You click on the fill and you drag it to the very right of your folder. And you know it's going to the folder because you see this bright blue line illuminate and you drop it. And now you have that all your colors in there. So you'll do that and add all your colors into that color group. I'm going to lock this layer and then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my inking layer. So to duplicate it, you can just click and drag it to the new layer box and it'll make a copy. It'll say inking copy. And now I'm going to call, call this live paint. Okay, so this is how I'm going to add some paint. And I spelled that wrong. Forgot my T. And I'm going to unlock it. Okay, for live paint to work, you use the black arrow and you select everything. So I'm selecting all of this. Okay, click on everything. And I go to object, live paint, object, live paint, make. Okay, now it, well, you know you're in life paint because on these little bounding boxes, there's like this little grid. Then you go to the life paint option, which the shortcut is K. So I click on that and now I have K. So now if I click on this color group, you can see my little cursor. I can siphon through these colors using the directional arrows. So as you can see off to the right over here, as I use my arrow key to the right, it siphons through. So I'm going to go in and you can tell you're on live paint because when you go in real close, you can see these shapes. Illustrator went ahead and closed them off. So maybe I want to give the body this pale pink color. So I just click. I want to give the back of the mouth a darker color. Maybe the inside of the mouth this lighter color. Give them a little pink tongue. Okay, so right now I'm just clicking through my colors and I'm in live paint, so I'm just selecting where everything's going to go. Inside of the ear is going to be pretty dark. And then I'll use the same color as his body for the outside of the ear, his tail, his body here. Um, let's see, I'll just add some colors so you can start to see. Okay, just to get it done here. Okay, so I have everything done. So then when I'm done, I select everything with the black arrow and you go to object, expand, hit OK. And I do object expand a few times. Okay, now I go to object ungroup and you might have to ungroup it like three or four times. Okay, because you'll know it's ungrouped why, when I click on it with my black arrow, see how I'm clicking on the inside of the ear? If it's ungrouped, if it's grouped, it will select the entire cat. I don't want that. So then you can see now I have the color. The next video, I'll show you how to add your shading, your highlights, and your shadows.